Let's talk to Clarence. All right, Clarence in Ohio. Are you going to correct me too? Hi. I've been wrong all day. Today. <laughs> Thank you for waiting, Clarence. Um, hi, uh, Shannon uh, and Jenna. Uh, no. um, I just wanted to say real quick, um, uh, Shannon, I, I listened to a couple of your recent programs. I think one was called The Source of Consciousness, and the other one was one you, I think, was probably the finest thing I've ever heard you do. It was just fascinating. And uh, That's a chat uh, yeah, I had with Mark uh, Psalms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that was just incredible. I just uh, cool. and and I also you did something with Ag- Anthony Magnabosco, which I really enjoyed. So uh, oh thank yeah, you we were talking about dialectic ethics. <laughs> yes. Cool. Anyway, oh, yeah, uh, the reason for my call is is I'm I'm a a, a, a little bit different in my atheism. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, if you take thirty different atheists, you're going to get thirty different things. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a little different than a lot of the people in the online atheist community in that I was never deconverted because um, I never believed in God, but also I was not raised in an atheist family. Um, I was raised in a theist family, and I just never bought into it. Um, uh, I, I never, there was never a time when I believed it. And I think one thing that was kind of uh, 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 like led to that was was the fact that when I was a little kid, I was a little math and science nerd, and I really liked fables. And the cool thing about fables is that they were stories where the events of the story led to a logical conclusion, mm-hmm. whereas Bible stories the events of the story basically led to because God said so. <laughs> You're smarter than I am. <laughs> and, 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 and so, and so by listening, you know, like for example, the boy who cried wolf, well, obviously the, the events of the story, he cried wolf, he cried wolf, and then a wolf, a real wolf came along and nobody believed him. That makes right. total sense. Right. But you know, I mean, uh, there was a big flood, and Noah made an ark, and and Jesus <laughs> got crucified and resurrected. Why? Because God said so. You know, I mean, um, or because yeah. God was angry. So anyway, that's how I arrived yeah. at it, um, okay. at, at at where I'm coming from. But mm-hmm. um, I what I wanted to talk about was um, uh, so I've basically been an atheist all my life, but I don't like the term athe- to use the term atheist. Because um, it's kind of like it's it's telling me what I telling what I'm not rather than what I am. It's you kind of like when collector I was a of you. What? Like I'm you're sorry. not a non-stamp collector just because you don't collect stamps. Like the non-stamp. Right. You, you I, and that and, and oh, like yeah. uh, you know, mm-hmm. when I was a vegetarian, I didn't call myself a non-meat eater. I called myself a vegetarian. Um, mm-hmm. So I've always been until. Fairly recently, I was comfortable calling myself a secular humanist because that involved that was a positive description of what I um, uh, of of what I believed. But one thing that I missed, found missing from secular humanism, um, mm-hmm. was a very specific regard for the environment, for environmental concerns. Um, okay. as a math science nerd, that was something I've always been conscious of. And I discovered this thing called scientific pantheism. Okay. Um, I, I do want to warn you that we're going to need to get to a wrap up point relatively soon because we're approaching the end of the show, but I want to hear about the pantheism thing. So, so what's up with the pantheism? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll make it <laughs> as quick as I can. Yeah. Uh, the traditional pantheism equates God with the universe and with the natural world. Scientific pantheism is a, 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 a view that goes beyond that, does not uh, believe that there's any God, does not equate God with the universe or the world or the cosmos. Uh, it doesn't believe in a God at all, but okay. the whole concept is that the world, the universe, the natural world is, is something that is worthy of awe and wonder and should be respected and revered. And, well, um, so it, it's, 
that's why I'm comfortable with that. And I think it's been misrepresented in some cases by other atheists because they hear the word pantheism and they automatically think, well, there's a God thing in there. And well, that's why scientific pan- we, we, why why go use why go into the theist atheist realm with this idea of reverence when it comes to something that's not a god belief well i i guess what i'm saying is is that um it's something that i can use to positively identify myself that kind of gets into you know what i regard as important whereas the the label atheism uh, there's as many different kinds of atheists, atheism as there are atheists. And frankly, there's a lot of atheists that I don't want to be lumped in with. <laughs> well, but you don't have, uh, you know, you don't have to pick, I mean. you don't have to pick one label and not use any others. It, I mean, you could pick whatever is appropriate for the situation. For example, I identify as a secular humanist. I also identify as a feminist. I also d- identify as you know, a nonconformist, but it depends on the situation that I'm in. You know, it, it, it doesn't, I, I'm just confused as to why you can't be a secular humanist and care about the environment. Well, you can, but secular humanism doesn't specifically address concerns about the environment, whereas scientific pantheism does. Um, and so I find it, it, it includes something that I think is very important. Um, uh, I think, you know, even on a practical level, I mean, if we don't take care of our environment, we're not going to exist anymore. <laughs> so uh, I would agree so. with that. I do, I, I do. I hate to interject, but I do. I do have something to contribute before we have to go, because what I heard you say that resonated, well, not necessarily resonated with me, but impacted me is there are other people who who have the same label as me. And. I basically, I don't like the way a lot of them behave. Therefore, I don't also want to own that label because I'm afraid that people will affiliate me with people like them. So exactly. that's, that's, a, that's a sentiment that other people have expressed to me. And, I, this, and I'll say the same thing to you or a rewording of the same thing to you that I said to them, which is, the only way to counteract feeling as though the people who own a label that rightfully belongs to you, the only way to counteract that is for more people who aren't behaving that way to own the label. It's part of the reason I started a channel myself is because I had the same, I actually, that does resonate with me a little bit because I saw a lot of atheists in the online community and I felt to myself, wow, when people look online for atheists, what they're finding is people who aren't like me who own that label and there's piles of them who are representing me poorly. So instead of saying, oh, I'm not like them, I would go out and be like myself so that somebody else, when they go looking, find something different than that. And People can, people, I have hazel eyes. There's probably myriad people on earth with hazel eyes who I have do things eyes. that I find, hey, there you go. There's, there's <laughs> probably myriad people on earth with hazel eyes who do things that are reprehensible that I wouldn't want to be affiliated with. Just because we have that one thing in common doesn't speak anything towards my character. I'm not going to buy contacts to change my eye color so that people, because I'm afraid that people are going to affiliate me with other people with hazel eyes. The reason that when you look for atheists, there's only a few that you see, right? And in the online community, a lot of them, they come out mad, right? They come out the gate pissed off. A lot of us did, right? They come, they just come out the gate, guns blaze, and they're mad about their deconversion because they felt like they were lied to or whatever. (laughs) Vagina, exactly, right, exactly. They just keep saying vagina. Um, So if you don't want people to think that you are like them, own the label and be like yourself. Don't say this thing that is me I am going to distance myself from. I'm going to I'm going to find all of these convoluted ways to adopt a different label that tangentially relates in the same way to this thing that I sh- I should be able to own. I mean, the way I looked at it was 
am I going to let somebody I feel like doesn't represent me hold me back from owning something that's mine? I am an atheist. So why would I let the, the fact that somebody else may affiliate that label with something detrimental stop me from owning that label? And the only way to stop people from affiliating that way with that label with something detrimental is to have more people stand up and be counted so that there's a diversity of representation. Um, and the, the people who are being assholes aren't the only ones who get to own something that belongs to me too. Well, and even with the new label that you come up with for scientific pantheism, you never know what people are going to assume when they hear that label either. Right. Sure. I, 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 well, that's what I was saying. A lot of people hear the word pantheism and they, they make assumptions about it, which aren't yeah. true. Uh, so, yeah, no. And, and that makes what, what you said, Shannon, makes perfect sense. I mean, I, I, I agree with that. I mean, it, you know, own, own, own the label. And uh, uh, I, I guess it's easier to own the label if you have an online presence. Uh, I don't have an online presence. So <laughs> I didn't. That makes a little. Uh, yeah, I, well, I'm not. I, I'm a I, dumbass I, soccer mom from Nova Scotia who started sh shit trolling <laughs> Ken Ham on Twitter, and look at me. <laughs> you can own it as much as you can own scientific pantheism. Right, yeah. exactly. Thank exactly. you for calling, and, Clarence. Thank you. Okay. We do have to let you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Thanks very good. Keep doing what you do. Thank you. Thanks, Clarence. Thanks.